Hello, back again, Valley Trev. Um, Law Folds, this is going to be episode 6. Um, harvesting. That's what we're going to do today, I did say. So, without further ado, we're going to get into the tractor combine. I don't know if you can hear the TV, it's really noisy outside, so I apologise for that. There's nothing I can do except, uh, well, just put up with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the bin man. Uh, quite noisy. Yep, so we're going to be doing, um, oh, I can't remember what field it is, 29 I said it was, you know. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry if you can't hear the, the video, I don't know, I should... Well, we still got sugar beet harvesting to do, so yeah, look, that's another thing we'll do. I'll just set this up over here, look, I'll put the trailer out the way, nice and safe. Away from everything else, this head of trailer is a pot. Rip the combine round gently. Yeah, touch taken off the trailer. I did say that we would do field twenty nine. What to do, what to do. Do I do a headland and leave the work I do it or do I spend all my video time doing it myself? Um, from Foley Harvester. I'm just here with a straw. Actually. I've enabled the straw. And over the header. Turn on the harvester. Away we go. And canola. Or OSR. Oil seed rare. But we call it canola on the game. But I think in Britain they call it rapeseed oil. I am not too sure. Okay. I've got my new pad now as well, so I hope it's just not going to be so clicky. The last pad was uh, real clicky. Now you could hear all the clicking and all the buttons. and It's a really good pad. But this is a brand new pad that I was given as a gift. For my birthday, I think it was. Or Christmas, one of the two. Which I've kept in the box until yesterday. Didn't want to play with it, but yeah, I don't care about my pads too. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's gonna take quite a while if we do this by hand. But there's really no choice to do. I mean, I could set it off. And we could get on with the sugar beet harvest then and get that finished. Yeah, I'll pop our onto a worker, see what he does. Yeah, these workers are not perfect. I don't know why they do it. Why can't we just feel, follow the field boundary, the line on it? I have no idea why they got to make them run straight. Stupid, we'll have to come back. 
anyway let's get to oh by the way look i've put another two loads in here i've waited we had 6,000 litres last time, so it was 6, 12, 18. So we two loads that gone in here. Look, I've waited until the next episode so you fellas can see it. The Agro Liner, 21,000 litres, all full. And we'll, uh, well, this is going to be a learning curve for me and you because I have no idea where I'm going to put my sugar beet. I'm not sure if we've got a sugar beet storage or does it go straight in the silo? I mean, from experience, I don't think it does go in the silos, but crap, well, I'm going to have to find out. So yeah, I'm just going to have a nip about. I really don't want to be stacking it in a shed, then that means that I've got to fool around with all the conveyors to load it again or a bucket which I really ain't got the head on for doing like so I could open that gate and go up the road I guess but then meh. I'm just gonna drive up my fields it'll probably be easier and just join up here now where we entered in the beginning um, yeah, Ooh, I don't know what to do with this sugar beet now. Uh, we'll go and have a look. If not, I'm gonna have to end up storing it. And, um, yeah, that probably means that we're gonna have to buy sugar beet storage on potatoes, too. Obviously, they do both. I mean. No, it is not accepted. I didn't think it was. Now I'm a bit stuck because I'm thinking, well, did we have a sugar beet storage centre? I'm not sure. I really don't want to just be storing it in the back. Tell you what, I'm just going to leave it here a minute until I can sort out the sugar beet storage place. I mean, could I? Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll just leave it under cover a minute here. The rain don't get on it. Right, let's go and have a look. Yep, look, that's full ready for the next run. Oh. We'll leave the work I run on with that. Ah, sugar beet. Sugar beet, sugar beet, sugar beet, sugar beet. What are we going to do with the sugar beet storage? Now, I might have to come back to that, but... I know you can open it. I mean, this is a perfect, no it's not, this would probably be a perfect place for the sugar beet, but we don't need it down here, I mean, this is for the sheep. And now that, now that is a monster sized thing, but then, like I said, we'll be in here with the JCB trying to fill it or fooling about with conveyors, I'm not really Born into muck about. I mean, this is what I'm going to want to go for. Here's the, the sugar beet storage bunkers, but it's also a silo. Porridge. Um, multi grain, multi various. Now that is really good, but it's a lot of money, but it's probably worth it. 
I mean that holds. It has no sugar beet and it has no potatoes, but that is really cool. Right, but apart from that, uh, there we go. Root storage. But my personal favourite, I'm sure we still got it. I don't know if I deleted it or not. I, I forget. I might have deleted it. Uh, the Blue Poly Tunnels. Not the Euro Tunnels. I mean, you could use them. But, uh, see if we can find it now. I know it's skipping past real quick. There she be. Root crop storage. It's a lot of money. But uh, it'd probably be worth it. Let's see if we can put it somewhere. Uh, where to put it? We want it kind of central to the farm. Just the head towards the power. There we are. Right. Now we're gonna have to find a place for it. <coughs> dun, dun, dun. I was gonna keep this bit by up for Oh that's not good. I don't really want to put it in the field. So I don't know what to do with it. Never gonna get a trailer in here though. Stupid, stupid place for it. Low fold is good, but there's not a lot of space to put stuff. I mean, I'm sure I could find somewhere like, but... What does it look like? Is there enough space for me to back a trailer up? Yeah, I'm... I don't know, I don't know yeah, I'll leave it that car, I think. I mean, I know it's a stupid place for it. I don't really want a year, but I don't have much choice. So I'm going to back up out of all this junk. And uh, let's go see our shitty beat storage. Let's just get rid of it. See if it works. Well, I know they work because I've used them before. But, yeah, what I'll do, I'll pull the sugar beet in. We we'll quickly nip to the uh, harvester just to see how he's getting on and uh, wrap episode 6 up I guess. I know we've really we haven't done much and we've just been running around and fooling about but hey, sugar beets are storage unless anybody knows that there was actual sugar beet storage on low folds but I don't want to use a bunker. I don't want to be asking about. I want to really try to get it perfect. I don't want, like I said, with the bunkers and whatnot. I don't really want to. Yes, there we are. Unload. And we are unloading. And that's how you store sugar beet. We're going to be using this mainly for the pigs when we do buy them. Um, yeah, this is how you fill it. I really don't like how there, but yep, look, I'm not going to start filling. 
See? 25 litres of sugar beet or whatever it is in it. Which is cool. It must have lost a litre somewhere dropping it. But hey, hey ho. Yeah. Gonna nip this up to the field. I'm not gonna cut through. Yep, a few 29 on it. Yep, and she looks like she's full. So we'll fill it up, fill the grain up. No, it's actually sugar beet that's full. Number 30. We'll find out now. So yeah. Sugar beet storage bought and harvesting started. This one. Let's just get the canola in. Get these grains done, then we can start ploughing the fields, harvesting, sowing, all the rest that goes with it. So, yeah. And here we go. Filling up the grains, lovely luck. I know this video is 16, 17 minutes now. I uh, Every video seems to be creeping longer and longer. I'm hoping to try to make it to 20 minute videos if my phone can support it. And, and it doesn't take too long to upload. I'll try to continue making 20 minute videos instead of 10 minute videos. Gives us a little bit more extra time. I mean, that's what we want. That's really what I want, is want to be doing 20 to 40 minute videos, but daily. But, uh, oh yeah. It's not that I, I don't want to. It's just I'm limited by storage. I'm limited by stuff. Just to check, if I had a PC, I'd probably be able to upload junk in an hour, like, instead of waiting on my stupid phone for two hours, three hours whatever it takes for it to upload to YouTube. But yeah, well, yeah, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, I'd like to say thank you for my new subscribers. Um, there's not many of us, I mean, you know, it's just friends, family, and uh, someone on YouTube actually subscribed, Swiss. Thank you, thank you for subscribing. Um, I subscribe to your channel too, so, you know, I'll have a nose about it. I mean, Swiss's channels, I have gritty, gritty reality stuff, you know, people like stuff like, uh, you know, arrested, people getting arrested by the police in America, and, you know, I don't, various stuff, whatever he's got on it. Um, Half tempted just to babble on for two minutes because, well, I've got a minute and 45 seconds, uh, 15 seconds to, uh, so yeah, I suppose what we'll do is just keep coming on with the harvesting. In the next episode, we'll see that Mr. Harvester, hopefully, that he'll be nearly finished. I mean, there's really not that much to do anyway, I mean. And we've got the sugar beet to collect. And we've got the OSR, or rapeseed oil, or canola. I call it canola. We'll empty that. We just have a little check of the sheep. It's been a day or two. So I, they probably don't need water. They probably don't need anything. But uh, we'll give them a little check. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, until episode, uh, seven. Pigs or cows? Cows episode seven, I think, maybe. We've done harvesting now. Episode six. So, yeah. Back
Just have a minute, see if they hunt. Oh my gosh, lifting is so hot. Look at that. Look at all those American cars that uh, bop. Bit of detach because that's just crazy. Crazy weight. Yeah, so we've got a few sheep. I'll buy a couple of sheep as well. Sheep and uh, pigs next, I guess, is it? Oh, sh cows. Give me a comment. Pigs or cows? I mean, personally, I prefer cows because, you know, it makes life easier. We can make, like, a little silage. We can do baling. There's a lot of stuff that we can do that, you know, cows need. So, yeah, until then. Clear out.